so hard to believe you're no longer with me told me to wait by the ocean falling near you I thought I I remember you said to me just that moment with you just that moment with you it's all I really Trace where your words sleep beside me. Conversations in my sheets, body to body. I sudden hit to my blind side, like a ghost I couldn't find. I remember you said to me, Nothing's gonna break us, this love will make us nothing. Well, hello again. Thank you for joining me this evening, or midday, or afternoon, or morning, whatever you are. Um, I'm finished with my the project I started on uh, in the in the past couple of sessions. So today I'm gonna do something new. Uh, I'm gonna work with app services today, and specifically, I want to do some. I want to add some health checks in an app service and also want to add a warm-up to them. Um, both things I'm familiar with, but I have to prepare something uh, for our next 4.NET webcast uh, or, or 4DN webcast, which is uh, scheduled to record next Wednesday or the no Wednesday, oh, not next Wednesday, not tomorrow, not tomorrow, but Wednesday the 22nd. Uh, so I have to do some prep work, some demo uh, stuff in order to make that uh, that cast uh, a bit successful. Um, so uh, that, that's what I'm going to try to do today. Uh, let me check over here. Yeah. Um, so if you have any suggestions what I should be doing next time, please let me know. I have some ideas myself, but it's always a great idea to listen to you also. And hopefully I can add the health checks and warm up today. I do have a couple of days off this week, so I might be able to squeeze in a uh, a live coding session in this this week but i'm not doing any promises i didn't do anything yesterday because it was easter here in the netherlands and easter monday is one of those days you spend with family it's like christmas so i spent uh, i spent my day with uh, the kids and my wife doing food and drinks stuff like that but today coding again so uh Let's see how it goes and how are you doing? Let me know. I have the chat open right over here. So if I'm looking over there, I'm looking at you all. And of course, 
which song I'm listening to because Pretzel Rocks is also, uh, well, adding some noise to the chat room. Cool stuff. So let's start. Uh, let's start coding. So uh, I develop on screen. I'm going to use uh, my secure API uh, project for this uh, because these are the app services I have in my Azure portal. We're familiar with them and they will suffice and it doesn't hurt to add health checks and warm up uh, endpoints to them. So here's the, the GitHub repository you might remember. Yeah. GitHub Yandev slash secure APIs. They're not that secure yet. There's Spider walking on. Uh, there's Spider walking on the. What's it called? The the. Wow, English is hard. Let's do some drink. The wall. It's the wall. There's a spider walking on the wall. So I got a bit distracted. It's not huge, but it's it's rather small. But it it's, was walking in, inside the, the corner of my eye. So I got distracted a bit. So... Okay, okay. Oh! Of course, of course. I saw my head got cut off, which is, which makes sense if there's something in the chat because the chat window was over there. Change it, so it's better now. So uh, uh, back to back to what I was busy. This is the repository. I have the. Uh, API over here, or the, the app service over here. I'll zoom in when necessary. Oh, I can zoom in right now, so I won't forget later on. And of course, there's the Azure pipelines and the releases over here. Nothing, nothing special. Let me also open up Visual Studio. I already got it opened up. Here it is. Close all of this stuff. So uh, let's let's start with the well easiest part first, the health checks. Uh, from what I remember, it's just use it, it's just uh, stating add health check health checks or use health checks or something similar to that. Uh, I, I look it up in the documentation uh, in a minute. And warm-ups are a bit trickier nowadays, I guess. I want to I want to test out because warm-ups in the well back in the day when we still had IIS, well uh, we could use uh, the web.config to do some application initialization, uh, which told IIS to hit those endpoints before well starting up the, the application. Obviously, this doesn't exist anymore with .NET Core, so I want to see if we can get this working, and maybe adding a web.config will work. Uh, I don't know. Um, so that's something uh, worth figuring out, and I'm not promising anything. It's just, let's see how far we can take it today. So. I will be focusing on the, the main API over here, it's the secureapi.api project. Uh, this project is the, well, it doesn't have any authentication on it and anyone will be able to contact it. Uh, what it does is it, well, there's a get which is doing an HTTP get to one of the backend APIs. If you want to know exactly what I was doing and thinking over here, you can go back in one of the one of the previous uh, coding sessions on YouTube, 
or uh, subscribe or, or keep uh, keep uh, keep yourself posted on my RSS feed of the of my blog because I will do some blogging on it. So with that out of the way. Let's start coding. So add HTTP check, use stuff. So let's start up Firefox and dot add core of checks to see what's it exactly what I need to add. So health checks in dotnet core. Wait a minute. Oh. Doing some life changes over here. So, better. Sorry for that. So, basic health probe. It's Add health checks and use an endpoint. Well, that's what I expected. Plain text, either healthy, degraded, and healthy. This is rather easy stuff. So let's also add some more sophisticated. Uh, uh, health checks to this because this also integrates quite well with uh, application insights now that I mention it let's also add application insights to our instance to our app service so first add health checks this is probably over here add health checks And again, if the music is too loud, let me know so I can edit it. Last recording, I noticed halfway through it was a bit too loud, so I've edited the music to be softer on the recording. <laughs> if it's annoying at the moment, let me know. So I will be able to help you. Well, that's all there is to it. Let's commit this stuff. Board. Oh, should I should I test this? So. Single fly. So I should be able to connect to my health endpoints by navigating to the health endpoint. This makes sense. It's healthy. Okay. Oh, that's good. Also quite fast. I'll move it to this place. Create health checks. This is a health check. Rather easy. So This is an example health check. I'll, I'll just copy it for now. Uh, now let's do some actual health checking. Uh, let's do a health check to do a GET request to one of the underlying services. 
So for this this specific service, I want to connect to to, for, to the secure API speaker service. So to this one. So I have I'm busy in the secure API API. And I want to connect to the speaker service. So in order for this one to be healthy, this one also needs to be up. Let's add, add, add this check. So I'm creating a folder and folder infrastructure. health and I'll create a speaker maybe a speaker service <coughs> make this one a bit smaller so what do I have to type in here it has to be a has to implement the I health check. So what method do I get? Check health check async with a cancellation token. Okay, so let's just use this, register it. Add health check, add check, okay. Add health checks dot and um, what's it called? Speaker service. Okay, that needs a name. Apparently, speaker. Speaker API. Okay, so that's it. Failure status. Oh, there's some other stuff I can add. Uh, when this one is down, my failure status. Failure status will be hmm, degraded, unhealthy. Is there any guidance over here? In the case that the health check determined that the com component was unhealthy. Okay, so the default should be unhealthy, but when should you be in a degraded state? What's the definition? Reduced far below ordinary standards. So it's like it's too slow. It's degenerate. It's degenerating. Okay, so if, if this speaker API isn't available, my service won't be able to do anything 
So this is clearly not a degraded state, but an unhealthy state. Are there any more things I should be adding? Where's the documentation? Sorry, closed down too soon. Tags. I don't actually need a tag. Why would I want to add a tag? Filter. Okay. <laughs> and the lying service So my app should be in a degraded, in an unhealthy state now because I'm throwing an un, a not implemented exception. This seems to be working. Let's change the startup. Uh, launch settings to. Oh, which one do I need? Let's do both. Yes, clearly this works. Okay, and now I want to do a GET request. Now I want to do a GET request. So would Depends injection work over here. Why wouldn't it? I have this weather forecast control. So I need an HTTP client. Which and I need the configuration because I need the API URL. So I'll just copy paste the stuff. This one. Okay, do I need a logger? Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Executing, executed. Why is this type on string health check? So what would it need to be replaced with? Okay. Health check, it's two words. Damn. Learn something new every day. So it needs a why is this one squiggly? Does not match the rule. Yeah, I don't like this rule. I don't like having underscores for my... Hey, wait a minute. This is my own project. I don't need to have this name and convention. Um, let's see. Let's see. 
change. I want them to have no prefix. And that's it. And I want them to have this. Rename. In a different color scheme I had the scheme for making this a bit more transparent so it's less clutter and I don't need a logger anywhere right it's not used Check. Okay. Check out, check, yeah. Return. healthy okay uh, create client for name speaker service Get speaker API point. So I need the speaker API URL. What is it? What is it? Do I have it over here? No, it's, it's somewhere else. Oh man, what have I used? Hopefully the root. Probably not. Speaker API URL. So I'm doing an invoke to this, so this is probably the weather forecast URL. Good work. Um, I could copy paste all of this, but I don't want to do that, I just want to see if this endpoint is up and running so if it's in a state which returns me an HTTP code 200 to 400 would it work yeah why not why not 400 is okay ish <coughs> it doesn't mean the service is down so, 
Speaker API URL. Or maybe I should just go for the root. No. If you remember, I'll, I'll show you. We set this API up to active. We set this API up to disable all, all, uh, oh, the wrong one, all incoming connections if they're not authenticated. So I'm here in the properties and I'm telling user assignment is required. Therefore, any request without a proper job token will be denied. And because I'm not specifying some authorization header over here, it will be denied. So I'm expecting a 403 forbidden, not sure sure at the moment I think it's a 4 out 3 no light why is this squiggly oh it has to be async async and get async that status code it's an integer right no it's a status code maybe is there a, is there a helper method Forbidden. I want it to be forbidden. If or no, 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 it should be forbidden. If it's not forbidden, it's, I'm doing something wrong. If it's forbidden, that's okay. Return uh, healthy. Else, well, return. Unhealthy, because uh, not Um, do I want the response? Is there something which might be content dot good enough.
Okay, we built that horse. Ah. That's what you get when the screen is so tiny. <laughs> it's unhealthy, so that's good. And there's probably some error message in this output. No connection could be made. exception is does this work exception based let's add a breakpoint over here Okay, okay. <laughs> That's not a dry catch. I thought it would just be some. Also do an exception, right? Oh. Okay, so this should be better, I hope. That's a bit better. So the exception is still thrown, but it's being handled. something okay cool that's good done let's try it with uh, the real the real api so here i have my speaker api url Oh, 
Secrets manage user secrets. So it's under here. It's point to localhost at the moment. Let's see what it's doing when on to the actual servers. Oh, what code did I get back? Unauthorized. Oh, that's correct. So it should be forbidden or unauthorized. Forbidden if I specify a JWT token for a user which isn't allowed. And unauthorized for when I'm not. Um, when I don't have a... Uh, when I don't have a... Shot token. Spawn starts, they let's go. And all priced. So it should be unauthorized and not forbidden. Healthy, that's cool. So this works. Let's commit it. Fork. Commit it. So let's also push it. And that's why we can check if it's also working in the actual service. So we got this. Okay. So that's all there is to it. Health checks. Uh, I also want to add application insights to my ARM template. And can get our arm. I get resource manager. Um, application insights is Azure Monitor nowadays. Or insights. should be a very small script. This looks about right. <coughs> Isn't there a newer version? There's lots of versions. over here is it Microsoft Insights it's is that what it's called nowadays probably components Add it. 
to remove the stuff which isn't necessary. Um, so we have this arm template over here. I'll just add yes. the name so the name is Frambles do I need stuff over here Location text guides no only the name name let's make it similar to the other uh, resources Location, location, <laughs> acts aren't mandatory most of the time. Mandatory, no. Location, API version, kind. Web. Properties. type web let's make it next to each other flow type it's an enumeration and the only value can be blue field Them. I don't care about these values, or I don't know why I should care about them. <laughs> Sampling. I don't know. Disable IP masking. False. I want to know everything. Purge data immediately. Yeah, that's that's okay. It's fine by me. Workspace. So this is mandatory. Workspace resource ID is mandatory. Which means I need some kind of log analytics workspace. These aren't mandatory. I want to know more.
Is there some template? With this resource ID. It's not specified over here. It's using an old this is using an old uh, an old uh, what's it called scheme for API version. So this is something I do need to copy paste for application insights, which is this. Now I need more stuff. Whoa, 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 not that one. Also an old version. Isn't there a new one? <coughs> Maybe I should Google for it. 2020, it's from February, so someone should has probably done something with it. So, workspace resource ID. So I have some application insights over here in my resource group. Properties. What if I create an uh, export template? It also creates one with an old API version. Flow type Redfield. So maybe I should just stick with this old API version. I should also delete this one. Because I won't be using it. Or a new one will be created should be created so um, that's strange but I can't find anything on it yet Just use the previous one. Preview. 
name type, API version, location, kind web, properties, application type is web, flow type, don't care, request source, hockey app, sampling retention, Now well, let's make this application type. So retention period 30. Integer disable IP masking. Purge. Oh, that's public network. Okay, so this should work. And this one is so new, no one knows about it yet. <laughs> now I, my web application has a dependency <clears throat> on this. So I have a website, server farm websites. Backend for front end. So it depends on where is it. Depends on this one. And now I need to set some application insights. Uh, application insights stuff inside my template. Where are the application settings? using instrumentation key over here. And I thought you needed some other stuff also in order to make um, application insights integration work but I'm not sure let's do a quick search
Is that all there is to it? I thought you needed like a dozen settings nowadays. Oh. Let's just do it the proper way then. So I need this. <coughs> um, so I've added application inside. And I'm also pushing it right away. So it will get deployed. Hopefully, hopefully it will get deployed. In the meantime, I'll be adding new stuff to the startup. I need Oh well, yeah, look at the time. This is probably the last thing I'll be doing today. Opening up Coke. the documentation over here Adding this one Also adding it to my secrets, my, my local secrets. So I won't hinder anyone else working with uh, this repo. Log level, logging level is information. Okay for now. Run your application. Warning, yeah. They've set warning. I've set information. This client side. defaults everything is set to true I don't need to do anything with this stuff for now because I just want uh, what I want to show you and hopefully works 
is application insights being able to see if my application is still healthy so i've added this <coughs> at application insights so this is all good still runs hopefully still healthy let's just push it The other one already green. Nine thirty-one. So I should have an application insights again. Resource group. What's it called? Secure API, right? Where is it? Live code secure API. So there it is. <clears throat> this one can get removed also. Yes. So this one is created just now. Instrumentation key 080 should be filled out here oh wait though yeah <laughs> so those extra settings are for this Let's turn it on and see what additional settings are added and implement them or add them to our ARM template also. So this one, collection level, recommend, profiler, or when exception, sure. On, apply. Now I want to see, maybe I should wait for this deployment to finish. So this one is done, 18 is still waiting. My health checks working. Sites, which will also take a few minutes to collect. Maybe I should invest in 
some build server with SSDs and stuff instead of just using the hosted. I think you can even use containers nowadays. So spin up a container whenever I'm starting my coding session and spin it down when I'm done. That might be a good idea for the next time. Would speed up this process. So it would benefit me in the long run. I just don't find it very entertaining creating build servers, build containers. Ah, uh, it's almost done. Cool. Let's go over here. <coughs> Refresh. So I still have my services over here. Deploying speakers. Oh, so that's that. So, so all of my resources have been deployed. I'll just go to this. So we only have these settings now. So I'll do a print screen and I'll compare them afterwards to see what I need to add in order to get full App Insights integration. Apply monitoring. Blah blah blah. Restart the site. <laughs> okay. I'm busy deploying anyway. BAM! So, why didn't it show me this somewhere in the help, somewhere in the docs? So this is a huge list of stuff. Advanced edit. Copy. And I'll need some VS Code. Are there any secrets? Well, I'm rather open, but just to be sure, true, true, false, false, true, true, false. Oh, those are slot settings, my bad. App ins instrumentation key, which, well, you've seen it already. Application, uh, blah, blah, blah. So what I need is I'll just make it a bit cleaner off screen or I can do it in this my big screen because I have this new scene set up called secrets where everything is blurred doesn't matter much I don't have lots of secrets because I'm rolling my subscription anyway. So that's about this. Let's dock it over here. And okay, so I'll add them back to my coding. So what's annoying? is it uses the environment variable syntax instead of the application insights the regular or at least what i think is regular syntax i'll just copy paste this that's the instrumentation key version 1.0 Let's add a ton of them. Let's 
that's this one. Okay, oh, that's not for this. This one. Oh, it's a concatenation. I'll fix it any minute. So this is two added. So these are all the extensions, or probably all the extensions <coughs> Application Insights uses in order to get the complete integration. So I've got all of these and need to do a concatenation over here. should be reference this did something wrong don't save so uh, there's is missing in the end okay that makes sense so. this is better succeed yes it did and now I will be deploying it with all of the other settings will be busy building about now yeah so we're at 18 now but my app is running my application insights is integrated so i should be able to see some insights data in the meantime <coughs> which is called i expect some help no availability maybe so it doesn't have any data yet. Makes sense. Oh, no, instead of going there, let's just go over here. I 
can go to the health endpoint. It's healthy. So. The speakers. So let's see what happens if I turn this one off. Yes, I want to turn it off. <coughs> so instead of getting an unauthorized, I will probably get a different status code now. So this should be in a degraded state. So it's healthy now. It was healthy. And it's unhealthy. So it works. So this is nice. I should have some logging messages by now. Uh, let's turn this one on first. Location insights, view the data. So I have a failure, which is good. Which is a different, this is a different one as I expected. Found not found. Okay. That's quite. So I should be able to see some details over here. Or not. Drill into. Fail to execute. This isn't something I expected to see. Good not load file. So probably more people with this. Because I added full app insights. So does the weather forecast work? Yes. So, okay. So stuff is working. I just don't know what this exception is all about. Availability. So health checks. Where is it? Maybe I should turn it off a bit longer. So stop instead of just a couple of seconds. This gives me some time to do some digging.
So it does see I'm making calls to my backend, which is nice. And localhost, which is strange because I haven't added the instrumentation key to localhost. <coughs> Health checks in ASP.NET Core. Yes, I know they exist. Inside. Includes publishers for several systems. Oh. Oh, this is something not. What? What? This is not. Uh, Readiness publisher. Oh, so I have to do this manually. Guess a publisher to application insights. What does it do? What, uh, is this lots of code? Probably. Get it? Source. Whoa. <laughs> wow. So they got publisher for just about anything. So how did they call application insights over here? I'd say it would only log or track an event. Okay, that's a safe generalized report. Save details, get client, save, generalized. Track event. Metric status name. Pushes an event to application insights with some data. And this is nice. I just expected a bit more. Oh, sorry. Maybe it's by convention? No, not really. Well, I am bookmarking this. Because this is useful. Some documentation. It works everywhere. Yeah, I'll, I'll just add this. Why not? Health check. Publisher. Where is it? Uh, where 
is it over here? So it's my project. I can add anything I want. <coughs> so what's the one for this one? Install. Okay. And now all I have to do is add health check at Case in size publisher. Instrumentation key is null. Mm, it's probably. Do I need it? Do I need it? Do I need it? Instrumentation key. It gets it as a field. Instrumentation key, it's injected. It's a default string, so by default, if I'm not specifying it, it will be null. Probably a good idea. To add it. Um, sure, we lost the guys. Oh, sorry. Uh, I need the instrumentation key over here. Let's also add this one on top. Uh, get the instrumentation key. So, can I get the... How do I get the instrumentation key? I need to do some... Uh, can I inject the web job host environment? Because... Configuration. I can use configuration. I know it's in here. I know it's called differently. Oh, it's in the ARP templates, of course. It's some string value. Yeah, typo. So I need this value over here. But that's probably my missing key. <laughs> um, 
So we pushed again. So will I? Would I have some failed results again? Not for a force. Hmm. Content acceptable plain text. Fava icon. Okay. Response time. So availability. Nothing here. So there's also a readiness publisher. That's nice, I guess. The sample app is a health check publisher implementation. The health check stage is locked for each. Oh, this is <coughs> useful in the sample app. Okay, so when you have a health check publisher, your application will do polling. And calls a publish async. So does this match? <coughs> yes. This is a health check publisher. A single method. Default is five thirty seconds. So what is this doing? What is this doing? So it gets a report with some health status. 
should get here also. So if it's ready, it's traction event. That's an event. But it doesn't do any kind of logging over here. It's just simple exclude healthy. Startup Hosted Service Health Check. And what does this do? So, is this some kind of a warm up task? What does this one do? Start the task completed. Help you. Start the task is still running. Okay. Startup host. This is <laughs> interesting stuff. So they have an I host. They have. Oh, so this is separate readiness and liveliness probes. So they're misusing a health check to do readiness. Some kind of a warm up. Useful. I want to bookmark this for my next session, which I will probably be doing this week, maybe Monday. Because <laughs> they're doing this, the host service is doing stuff. Long run task like warming up. Health check is registered. Configure services. Okay, so yeah, and if it's true, it's done. Otherwise, not. <coughs> so the health check is called. Health ready. Try it out, but I was busy distribute health check library, health check publisher. 
So this is the Helsinki Publisher, whenever something is failing. Yeah, so it will push a message to App Insights. Unhealthy. Okay, so that's, yeah, we're down. Is this a deployment failed? Okay, why? Speaker API stopped, right? No? The infrastructure. Unexpected. Okay, so my JSON is malformed. That's because there's a red dot over here. I had to remove the comma because that's how ARM templates roll for JSON. Well, it was my own fault. Remove a comma. Now we've waited a bit, all of this stuff for nothing because. Now we have to wait another five minutes. Annoying. So let's go back to the reading part. I also find it interesting to see what is closed. Would be useful. May it drift away. I would watch you stare. What's this for a question? Watch you stare. Oh, but there's no one there. We can figure this out. Put your feet down. How far is the deployment? Running. It's deploying the infrastructure. Coke is down.
sure it takes a while. So hopefully the JSON is correct now. Hopefully. Yes, it was. So we should have all of the application settings in place. Do I have some metrics over here? Server requests. So lots of requests or lots, couple. So it got yes, you can see it got the request to the backend to the yes the health check. And it failed. We've got a 403. Which is. Um, which is actually. HTTP. HTTP 403. one when the client is not authenticated client is not permitted so apparently I'm getting a forbidden that's probably probably because I'm making a request from my app service let's see let's see can I see some more details? Show all. The request, the complete request. So the actual request, is this it? Custom dimensions. Health, so this is me. It makes a call. To the speaker API. Nothing fancy. to see the complete HTTP call. For this, got states forbidden. So what was the actual request? So this was the path. Well, apparently, I assume, well, I assume, I think my assumption is correct. So when making a request from your app service to some backend, the authorization header is filled or it will fill some authorization thing for you. So is the deployment done? Yes. Here are the data. So now I've got this probe running. Or at least I hope it's running. I'm doing stuff. So I should have some events, some, some tracking. Last 
30 minutes. Core health check. So a custom event. Core health check. So I got this one. Is there something useful? Local times show all. one okay and now what so now I got all of all these custom events. Should be in an unhealthy state. That's what I'm seeing over here. What does this do? What does this do? Nothing. Because what does it do? Save channelized metric name and duration. So that's not very useful. Properties machine name assembly. What does the detail report do? Health check name. I expect also some save details. Oh, so if it's healthy, it won't lock some things, and if it's unhealthy, it will. Okay, that's good. How can I relate this to something? So machine customer machine name and assembly. Check status is zero. And what is the status? Metric, metric status name. So apparently, ASP.NET Core Health check status. So it's not healthy, and what isn't healthy? That's something which I can't get from here. Well, still useful. It's probably useful, say detailed stuff. So let's just turn it on for now because we're busy. So Visual Studio. Save detailed report. healthy yeah. we don't need healthy stuff which is also the default right exclude healthy exclude healthy <laughs> if false if healthy and true and 
badly, so I don't need healthy stuff. It's just cost a lot of money and well normally it's useful but for me for now it's not something I need. Well No I don't uh, need it because it costs money in the end, in the long run. <coughs> Healthy and sports. So I'm pushing it so you can see it later on. And so this is the health checking which we implemented. And I'm going to conclude it for this evening with this. So we did health checking with some actual health checking for my service, which is useful. I'm using an external library which is pushing messages to application insights, custom events. I don't know the exact use case for this library just yet. It's probably useful in, in some way. Um, maybe I should dive into this a bit more. For now, I'm happy with, with what we got. We got the app service calling an other app service, checking if the if it's uh, forbidden or unauthorized. Let me just make another quick, quick fix in, in the code because I am checking uh, the unauthorized, but I am also adding the uh, status code. Status code forbidden. So I'm adding, adding this now because that's what the app service does. So it's being pushed. So when you get the repository, you will be able to see it. Um, so that's all of the health checks for now. Next time I want to check out warmups, uh, check if warmups and swap fips still work with web.config even in a .NET Core application. Maybe only if you have uh, if you're hosting on Windows. And if this doesn't work, I want to check out this health check probe, readiness probe. Sounds interesting. So uh, stay tuned. Subscribe to my uh, channel on YouTube, on Twitch, uh, wherever you're, uh, wherever you're located. And uh, I'll see you uh, next time.